Hi. Today we're discussing a second vartika to our most recent sutra, Ro Supi. Ro Supi. The vartika is Aharadi Nam Patyadishu Varepaha. Aharadi Nam Patyadishu Varepaha. Now, this is not a super complex sutra, but it unfolds into uh, uh, interesting forms, I think. So, aharadi nam, ahar, etc. Ahar adi, ahar, etc. Patyadishu, pati, etc. Va repaha. Now, repaha is an interesting uh, word. Uh, Prabhaka Shastri gave it to me as ra plus ipaha. Ra plus ipaha, forming repaha. But I couldn't really find, uh, I was curious about it. I couldn't find a root or related to ipaha. But eventually, I did find that there is a root rip rip and it has the meaning that was uh, provided to me which is uh, making the sound er. so it's very particular to this one sound and that sound has certain connotations but in this case it is uh exactly that making the sound er. so here we have ahar etc pati etc va Repaha. <clears throat> so the full sutra is Aharadi Nam Stane Patyadishu Pareshu Va Repaha. Aharadi Nam Stane Patyadishu Pareshu Va Repaha. So and I hope that when I put stane and pareshu there, that the uh, reference is pretty much automatic by now. And if it's not, please go back and take another look at our uh, the sutras for the formation of the grammar. Because the more aware of them you are, the better at this point in our conversation. <laughs> So when I say stane, I'm referring to shashti stane yoga, shashti stane yoga. Shashti, when not otherwise used, includes, is connected to the word stane or in place of. So haradi nam is shashti, so in place of ahar, etc. Patyadishu, pareshu. Saptami, or as it's referred to in the grammar, tasmin, which is a, a way of referring to uh, saptami, tasminiti nirdeshte purvasya, tasminiti nirdeshte purvasya. So if those um, associations aren't pretty available to you, please do go back over those early sutras. I, I certainly always do still. So. Um, it, it will be more and more fun what we're doing now. So, aharadi nam stane, in place of ahar, etc., patyadishu, pareshu, when pati, etc., follows, um, va repaha, optionally there is the sound er, or er comes. So, first question, or yeah, I think first question is what is the ahara, ahara, ahar, etc. Well, I have a long time ago when we were doing sutras uh, about um, uh, lists of uh, possibilities, Pashu Pakshinoho, and so on, uh, we talked about the two kinds of gana complete ganas and incomplete ganas. Um, and I don't know if these little ganas are complete or not, um, but they are uh, what's uh, referred to by 
both Prabhakar Shastri and Vatoji Dikshita, so they are what we have to work with here. So the Gana for Ahar is Ahar Gir Tur. Ahar Gir Tur. And for Pati, Pati Gana Putra. Pati Gana Putra. So we'll go, I'm just going to do uh, one example, but that should, uh, that should do. So let's take a look at what actually happens. So if we have Ahar plus Patihi, patihi um, then we have Ahar followed by Pati. And what does that mean? Well, we get, remember this is Varepaha optionally. So Ahar Patihi is one option. The R sound is there. Then there is another possibility by a sutra that we haven't covered yet, but we will. And that is that kar, and you've got to drag out your memory of Akshara Samamnaya again, and it never hurts to have it handy. Um, kar is a pratyahara, kar, avasana. Of asana, when there's a cessation of sound, uh, then uh, when these are present, a uh, word finally, then in place of them, visarga comes. So visarga comes in place of a word final kar, kapachatata, uh, chatata, kapaisha, shasar. Um, and so that's the second option here. That's very specific. And uh, th so the first option, the ahar, is an exception to the sutra we haven't yet covered, the Karavasana Yorvasarjaniyaha, which is 8315. So that would give us aha, ahaha, patihi. And there's another option with another sutra that uh, is very dear to my heart for reasons that I will explain when we get to it. Um, kupvo akafpausha, kupvo akafpausha. So, uh, when uh, the sarga is followed by ku, kakagaganga udit, ku udit, kakagaganga or pu 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 and actually, now that I remember, there's there's two really good uh, reasons that I'm so fond of Kupvo uh, Akav Paucha. One, because it reignited my passion for the grammar uh, 22 years ago uh, in a story I will share then. And the other is because <clears throat> there's a uh, slightly off-color, wonderful uh, story that goes with it but you'll also have to wait for it. So bottom line is when we have ahar plus patihi, we have three possible options, correct uh, sandhi options. One is ahar, the pronunciation of er comes, which means ahar stays er. Now why say repaha? It may have to do with whether or not that's actually an adesha or not. But in any case, we don't have to really worry about it because it's quite clear we're going to have that er pronounced. So we have ahar patihi, and then we have karavasana yorvasarjaniyaha. Um, we get the r replaced by the sarga. So we get ahaha or uh, ahaha patihi. And if we get ahaha patihi, we then have the option of having it be ahaf patihi, ahaf patihi, ahaf patihi. And that's the story. This is the last of our current uh, series. And I would say that there's a lot of interest in this little word, ahun. And I think uh, that's outside my pay grade, uh, but it certainly sounds like an important word. Um, and that's it for right now. Now we're going to go to an absolutely 
uh, extraordinary sequence of sutras that is not only uh, very special to me, but Professor Cardona also uh, uh, highlights it as of extraordinary interest. 